Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to RPG Madness and today we are definitely going to kill the Twilight Lich And yeah, I actually explored like this one little section of the place and got something pretty cool Never got it in season two. I'll show you guys in a second. I got this. It is called the Moonworm Queen I've never gotten this but apparently you can like shoot it like a bow and it puts up like a worm That's like a torch. It's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I have a new, like, lighting source I've never seen. It's definitely unique. But, yeah, we are going to head up and go for the boss. Hopefully, you know, we're almost there. Oh, got a book. Let's get in here. All right, this room is very exciting. There's, like, nothing in this room at all. Hold on. Hold on, book. All right, this death tome is now dead. And I keep getting, like, pages. Like, so many pages. I don't need them all. But, like, millions. This is not the most exciting room. It's, like, sand on the ground and, and nothing in here at all. I'm pretty sure I just saw a skeleton. What the hell was that? Why is everything jumping down? All right, there's a spawner right there. Oh, they're like spawning off the side basically. So I got to kill all the- oh god, another rare spawn. All right, I need to take all these dudes down as quick as possible. There's a rare book over here. Rare deceiving death tome the undying. It's got one up on it. So it's gonna like go back to life after, you know, I get it down. But luckily our gear is so good, like, I'm not really taking much damage here. Okay, now I'm poisoned. Now I'm poisoned. There's so many spawning! I need them to die so I can just break this. Alright, here we go. Alright. So let me, you know, throw a worm over here. Oops. Worm, there we go. Alright. So yeah, we're getting closer to the top. There's like a rare skeleton coming at me right now. Fall off, fall off, there we go. Everything's gonna be like on the bottom when I leave. All right, everything is dead, I think. So yeah, that is the top right there. We're actually not that far away. Hopefully, we can find some more cool items. Oh god! An oh, there's like multiple rare zombies coming, throwing potions and all kinds of stuff. This is crazy. Yeah, the rare mobs definitely make this interesting. <laughs> Something about this place really likes to crash. I don't know why. I have no idea. We never had this problem in season two when we were in Twilight Forest. <laughs> Die zombies. Oh my god, these are taking forever to kill. And there's just so many more mobs coming. It's ridiculous. Alright. Let's get up here as quick as we possibly can. I need to get rid of some more spawners. I've got slowness on me right now. Oh god, I'm going so damn slow. Alright, against the wall. <laughs> that is so cool. And I looked it up online beforehand, and I guess you can actually, like, um, if you run out of durability, you can put some torch berries in a crafting table with it, and it will be back to normal. So we'll never run out of, like, you know, worms to throw at our walls. It's kind of cool. I can light up the whole place like this. I like it. I, I did miss there. I admit it. I admit I missed. I'm trying to, like, get the place nice and light and bright for us. All right, I think it's good. And, oh, God, we're almost up to the top here. I'm a little, little nervous. A little bit nervous. Hey, hey. Can you guys stop this? There's a rare skeleton over there. All right, so let's prepare for the boss fight. I need to put some stuff in my bag, you know, clearly, as I have a lot of stuff on me. Actually got a diamond hoe off one of those mobs. Isn't too much I could really get from, like, infernal mobs anymore, because, you know, I've gotten so many good things. It's kind of just, like, diamond stuff as the best. And I got an iron hoe. What a nice drop there. Got an iron sword. All right, so for the fight, the fight is kind of interesting. It's definitely different um, than most uh, boss fights. I have to, like, reflect... His attack back at him. I'm not very good at it, but we will see what happens. All right, there he is. All right, that, I need to hit back at him. All right, we can do this. Hit me. Come on. I failed miserably. This should be it. There's like a random book in the corner. Oh, my God. I remember fighting this last time. It took me a while to actually reflect it back at his shields. All right, bro, right in my face. Let's go. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, I got one. Did I get one? I so reflected that. If not, he's lying. All right, we got two shields down. I think being right in front of him might be the best way to do this. And this is the reason I can't use this guy in mob battles. No mobs are smart enough to know to, like, reflect the ender pearl back at... Oh, you're down. Let's go. Let's go. Don't... Don't hide. Your whole family's here attacking me now. That actually went really good. So much better than my first attempt ever fighting him last season. Now that I actually know what I'm doing. All right, there's a lot of lich minions here. Really wish I could use them in a mob battle, guys. Problem is, you know, if mobs were that smart, that'd be great. I just want to kill this minion. And then we'll finish off the lich. Alright, lich. Don't throw those at me anymore. 
You are about to die. We've got him cornered here. Oh, come on. And he is dead. Lich Hunter achievement. We get us a drop here. All right, let's take a quick look. So we got the trophy, which is definitely cool. What we can do is we can put that in our, you know, home, which is going to look sick, especially in the throne room with all the other, like, heads we have there already. That is awesome. Nice. All right, so we got that. And what else did he drop here? He dropped his, like, Scepter of Twilight. I cannot remember for the life of me what that does. Does it heal you? I know it. Maybe it shoots an ender, but I'm not sure. I don't want to. Should I waste it? We have 99 charges. Let's just do this. All right. All right, so yeah, it shoots ender pearls like crazy. Stop doing that. My god. I didn't want to shoot nine. It just does it automatically until you switch back in your inventory. All right. I know what it does, and we'll definitely use it to fight some... Probably the next boss will try to use it or something. We've got 90 charges. That should be plenty. And yeah, I'm going to keep it out of my hand. Apparently, when you click it, it just keeps on going like crazy. All right. So my electric staff is so cool, too. All right, so I guess we have checked this place out. But I think we did miss some rooms. Because if you notice, there's like two ways up. And we went up the stone way, right? I think so. So we'll go down the wooden way and check out some of the rooms on the way down. Yeah, it's dark over here. Another one of these amazing sand rooms. All right, so yeah, I love this new torch thing. It's awesome. He's holding a, he's holding a page. He's trying to, you know, become a little more studious here. Die, zombie. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And I remember last season, I actually didn't die on the boss. I died on the way down from the boss. That's embarrassing. Oh, God. It's going to happen again. S stop this nonsense. Oh, my God. That was bad luck. <laughs> that damn hole right there really got me, didn't it? All right. Let me back up here. I didn't finish exploring this place. Here comes a rare skeleton. Almost got him here. Come on. More accurate. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I wanted to check out some of the other rooms because there can be some pretty good loot, and I don't want to miss out. These books drive me crazy. I feel fire damage should be, like, really, like, damaging to them. They should die, like, instantly when they're on fire. They should. It's a book. Come on. Come on, guys. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to use my... Should I use the staff? Just a bam. Right at the ceiling. Yeah, it's not that easy to control like you think it would be. It goes so quick is the problem. All right, shoot me up here. Oh, God, that's not easy. All right. Screw that. And, yeah, this is the place, guys. It's a really awesome castle. The thing is, it's like a maze. So, like, you can't really live in it. Well, I guess you could, but I don't know. I don't think it'd go that well. Not for me. I'd be like, where the hell is my bedroom? Ooh, a chest. Perfect. I don't think I've ever seen this room before. It looks different than the other chest rooms. Could be a good sign or a really, really bad sign. And it meant nothing to us. Another oh, speed potion. I want to run around pretty quick. And yeah, guys, I'm not going to grab all this gold and stuff. I know I could, like, you know, take the enchantments off and stuff, but um, it's really not going to be too helpful for me at this point in the series. Let me just grab this speed potion and another instant damage potion, which I can put, I think, gunpowder with it and make um, one I could throw. I believe so. I think we're good. I'm actually going to drink this one right now. And yeah, anything else I need to throw away, like paintings? Yeah, let's get rid of the paintings. We don't we don't need them right now. I think I got some at home. I have so much of everything at home. All right. Let me toss a couple more things in here. And we'll be ready to go. Put my trophy in here. I don't want to lose that. Oh, I should have used my cursed bone on the boss. Totally forgot about that. It's all right, though. Okay, so I got the speed potion right here. And I kind of just want it so I could run around real quick and check all the chests that are left in this place. All right, so let's go. All right, so we already checked that way. That's just the, you know, view. Speed is just too much for me. All right, view again. There's views everywhere. But yeah, we killed the boss. He was actually pretty easy. He was. All right. Get me over here. Don't fall there. Awesome. All right, let me up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's exactly what I meant to do. All right. Let me in there. I'm trying to find a good way to use this staff. There we go. Ooh, another chest. Awesome. Skeleton in here. Hit him with the worm queen thing. All right, and here we go. In this one, fire resistance. There's a lot of speed potions. They're kind of useful, though. At least they can move around, like, super quick in the place. There's got to be some more good treasures around here somewhere. There's a lot of freaking rare mobs, though. Oh, my God. All right, that one's dead. Get him, Iron Golem. Hello? I think they're just waiting for me at the bottom. Okay, no, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. 
maybe they're not. One right there. All right, come on. Stop playing this game with me. All right, he's falling apart. All right, so there is one more dude down here, I think. You're not rare, at least. Oh, that one is. Very rare. Ultra quicksand zombie of freaking death here. All right. And the rare book. Rare book. I hate this. There's so many. All right. Okay, guys. You got to calm down. This is getting ridiculous. I don't know where you're coming from. There's got to be some kind of zombie book spawner or something. I can't even get out of this web that you put me in. All right. All right, zombie. This is, this is the last chance. You are dead. And I'm poisoned again. I'm constantly... There's got to be a spawner. I'm going for it. There's got to be another spawner around here. So, yeah, there's a lot of zombies coming up. I imagine there's got to be a spawner we missed somewhere. Maybe in here. Nope, just a skeleton enjoying the view. But, my God, there's a lot around. This place just doesn't get safer, does it? You'd think it would get a little safer. Let me light it up or something. All right, come on. Throw some of these worms around. I see a book over there. All right, I think we're good. Throw it up there. That is so sick. It even sticks to the ceiling, too. I did not know that. And yet, you can see it actually has plenty of durability. I think it said, like, 256 or something, which would be a lot. So I don't really need to worry too much about it. All right, let me up this thing. And this ladder, it's got to mean something. And, ooh, another chest room. Awesome. All right, come on here. Oh, I got another one. Another Moonworm Queen. So, yeah, we definitely have plenty of those around. We can light up things like crazy. Of course, you can't actually, like, take them off, you know, the wall once you use them. But that's fine. What does it really matter? I can always, like, recharge them anyway. And another speed potion. All right. Let me just have this again. Finish running around this place. And then, oh, guys, one thing we need to do is make a map. We couldn't find, like, the map focus to make the map while we're here. So, um, what we need to do is actually craft it ourselves. Let me take a quick look here. Map. And, yeah, we need the magic map. But I think I need the... There it is. Blank magic map. Recipe for that. We need, um, lots of paper. No problem. There's, like, paper flying around me at all times. But we need the magic map focus. Torch berries all around Twilight Forest. Glowstone dust. You know, we got plenty. And a raven's feather is off the raven, which, you know, they fly around Twilight Forest. You see them sometimes. They're somewhat uncommon, at least in my experiences in the past. Let me down this. All right, so if there's nothing else around, I am going to, you know, head out of here and try to find myself a raven. If I can. All right. So, yeah, I'm lighting it up. Out of my way, book. Out of my way. I'm trying to light up your walls. It's dark in here. All right, come on. Throw it. There we go. So, yeah, we're on our way down. I don't think there's any more spawners in here specifically. And nothing really in here. I think it's just dark. That's really the problem. Try to put up some torches. <laughs> if I ever come in here again, it'll be nice and light. All right, book, stop following me. Stop following. I'm leaving this place. All right, best way out of here would be... I'm trying to look at the mini-map and see, like, what would be a way out. <laughs> Maybe through this wall? No, not quite. I'm making my way out here. It's gonna eventually lead to outside. It's got to. Just don't chase me. Iron Golem will get him. Let me out of here. I think I'm underground. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. All right, I can't see. And there's a... Oh, of course. That's why it's not dead. It is rare. Yeah, I skeleton. If you can't tell by now, this tower really hates me because it crashes whenever I'm fighting something. I don't know why, you evil skeletons. Please die. It's almost dead. All right, come on. Almost got him down. And then I'm leaving. Leaving for good. All right, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. You know what? You know what might have been easier? If we actually, like, you know, left from upstairs. I'm not digging out. I'm going to go out one of the nice views. They're, like, everywhere anyway. All right, this leads, this leads nowhere. All right, that was working out well. What if I just go through, like, this wall here? I'm trying to see, like, which direction. This would be the direction. Why is there dirt every... Oh! There we go. I must have been really low. I didn't realize. Oh, there's like a giant hill here. That's why. I see. So, yeah, I was like way under the ground. I hear a bird. Can it be a raven? Probably not. All right, I've got... Oh, I got... When did I... Did the boss drop this? I am so confused now. When did I get a magic map focus? I have no idea. I'm going to have to... I'm going to be looking at my, like, um... When I'm going through it and I'm going to be like, when the hell did I get that? All right. So cool, we don't even need that. I already have everything we need, and I'm extra excited now. 
That's cool. All right, so I'm going to put some stuff in here. I've got, like, all kinds of stuff, like, floating through my inventory at the moment. And let's see. All we need to do is chop down a tree and um, make it. Because I actually need my crafting table right now. And he has to take a second to break this. Break. There we go. All right. I don't need this other, like, moonworm. I have so many arrows. All right, I've got everything we need. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this crafting table, and we are going to make the magic map. Can't believe we got... It must have dropped off the boss, right? I have no idea. I can't believe I missed it. It's like right there. Who knows? doesn't matter now. All right, where's my paper? I think I just put it away in another backpack. Don't float in front of me. There we go. All right, so I am going to put it like this. And bam, in the middle. And we've got it. Blank magic map. All right, so let's see. And now this is going to show us, like, the area. This is where we are. And it's going to show all the structures on it. Why are you not showing the structure that we're right next to? Oh, there we go. It loaded in. So we're actually next to the Urgas, which is probably going to be the next boss, guys. It's in this direction. Pretty cool. So, yeah, this is really useful. Definitely needed that. I feel stupid because I don't know when the hell I actually got the... The map focus. But yeah, it's in this force. I guess we're going to be heading in there next time. Um, today's winners for the Fanchion were JDog0930, Simon Edwards, and Magister of Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.